NCMM, the National Center for Mobility Management, distributed 16 grants to improve transportation uh, for healthcare access across the country. This is the second workshop or charrette that we're having. We gave out cards as an incentive to attract people with disabilities here. I think I've probably interviewed about 30 people today. The most fundamental thing today is to find out what are the things from those with first-hand experience could really tell us about the challenges, the opportunities to change things, what would make a difference. I cannot drive because I have a depth perception problem. It's held me back because basically I've had to get my mom to drive me everywhere or pay the money to uh, do a taxi, which is a lot more expensive than Max Fair Transit. Really, they need more buses because the hours in between those routes and the stops and stuff is too long. Some of them like 30 minutes, some of them like an hour. And some of them, they don't go in their places. Some people can't walk to get there far. I helped my mother, which I'm having some challenges right now because my mother is um, physically uh, disabled. So right now we're having to use an ambulance service to get her back and forth to the doctor. Passion of mine is trying to, you know, find some kind of service um, that's not so expensive. The two main ideas that have come up are having some kind of transportation one call, one click center where people can get information through a phone call or on the web about all kinds of transportation options. The second idea was to attract private providers to provide some kind of accessible ride hailing or taxi-like service and I want to say there's even a third idea even though it's an idea that already exists which is the bus rapid transit. Work within that and make it more accessible and sort of make it a rallying point for other uh, transportation for people with disabilities. I'm confident that this is not the last step but this is a part of a first step.